block, no block. Changes to test chips. What are they doing? Close test 12.1. Based on the testing results, we're applying changes to stored 43, Scharnhorst 43, Tianyun, Francisco Ferruccio, Michelangelo, Rhode Island, Independent, Yortang, Essex, and Bern. Okay, that's a lot of ships. Jesus. Mm -hmm. European destroyer is stored 43. Main battery reload time increased. Torpedo parameters were changed. Reload time 75 to 90. Range 7.5 to 10. Wait, 90? Didn't they just... Didn't they just nerf this ship? They just nerfed the... They, they nerfed the fuck out of damage of the ship. I remember that. When was that? Where the fuck? I remember that. Was it 20 days ago? Yeah, yeah, wait, wait. Here, 20 days ago. Let's check the receipts. Uh, stored. Torpedo parameters changed. Range increased 6 to 7.5. Torpedo tube reload time reduced 85 to 75. Damage reduced to 7.5. So now you have 7.5k torps. With a 90 second cooldown. I mean, sure, they got a 10k range, but Jesus, these are like carrier torps. Okay. This is EU. You can basically, you can pretty easily see if it says .com up here or if it says Corabli, then it's, it's pretty easy to tell which one it is. 43 means nerf it 43 times. <laughs> okay. I, I don't really understand. Was it really that overperforming? Or is it just because it's a pretty free ship, so they're making it garbage? German battleship Charnos 43. Okay, what are they doing here? Secondary gun parameters were changed. Maximum HE shell damage reduced. Fire chance increased. Maximum HE shell damage reduced. Fire chance increased. So less consistent damage and more RNG fires. I'm not sure if I like that. All of the all of this is smelling a lot like free ship syndrome. All of this is smelling a lot like free ship syndrome. Hmm. Pan-Asian cruiser, Tianjin, tier 9, main battery parameters were changed, AP shell maximum damage increased from 5.5k to 6, almost 6.4k, okay. AP shell penetration reduced, now it will be more similar to Riga, Riga pen is pretty good, not good enough for smash BBs, but you sit cruises across the map, initial shell speed increased, Ballistic shell trajectory will now become more arcing and more similar to there you go. What was Tianjin exactly? Was it it was a clone of something? Wasn't it a Riga clone? Wish.com Riga, yeah. So wait, they took a Riga clone, and then they gave it... Riga guns, exactly? Oh yeah, Tianjin here. Yeah, it's literally a Riga. Tianjin's armed with 920mm main bit guns, which have good ballistics, accuracy, and shell penetration, but deal low damage, damage per minute. And now they... Gave it higher damage per minute, but worse ballistics and worse shell penetration. <laughs> do they have any idea what they're doing anymore? <laughs> I, 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 do they have any idea? Like what? The whole gimmick that they sold here, they just reversed. What? Okay. Enhanced damage control repair for the anti Okay. 
Removed fighter, okay. And a defensive A and hydroacoustic search consumables will share the same slot. Spotter consumable is replaced with high precision spotter plane consumable, which will have the following characteristics. Main battery range 10%. Maximum main battery shell dispersion minus 10%. Wow, they literally gave it the Bungo gimmick. Except it give yeah, Bungo gimmick for dispersion and range. Wow. I guess they, 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 they have a new gimmick, so now they're slapping it on everything that moves. Really? Interesting. So it's a Riga without the ability to equip Kuznetsov or Radar. That's actually pretty accurate, isn't it? It has a fast damage control team, which, oh, it, that was limited DCPs. That's actually garbage. So it doesn't have Riga's tank in his either, because you can't damage... It, it, it sucks the damage con because you, you got limited DCPs. Standard repair part. Choice between fighter or spotter. No, you don't. You run spotter, the special spotter, and then you have hydro defensive. Good survivability helps the ship take more damage than than an average cruiser. I mean, it's a Riga. But without Kuznetsov and with the, the shitty fast DCP, which sucks for a cruiser. This this shit sucks for a cruiser. Look, look at Sevastopol. It's 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 really terrible. Wow. Um, okay. What? I don't really... Un I don't understand. I mean, they're just copy-paste ships. In the end, these ships are about as low effort as Wargaming can be. Francesco Ferruccio. Main battery reload time reduced. Nice. Finally. Sap shell ricochet angle parameters were changed. Guaranteed, guaranteed ricochet angle reduced. 85 to 80. The angle at which the check for ricochets is made reduced. 80 to 70. That's a pretty big nerf. And wasn't Ferruccio like light sap? I think you end up, you actually might end up I don't know how much you're losing here, but... Hmm. Yeah, weren't these like really light guns? This is a pre ship gun. Isn't it now standard sap angles? I think so. Let me check actually, ship tools. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-
So what happened was some dumb submarine was surfacing next to a Michelangelo, probably trying to shotgun him or something. And then the Michelangelo instantly dev struck him with Sap. So now Wargaming is going out of the way to nerf it against subs. Just so the subs can get away with doing demented shit. Do you see any damage reduction against destroyers that can get caught in the sap? No. What about cruisers? No. Only the special class gets the special protection of taking 40% less damage. Like, it's, it's not bad enough that submarines have French saturation. Now they have 40% reduction in splash damage on top of French saturation. Jesus Christ. I mean, I I'd like to pretend I'm surprised, but you can tell that Wargaming has a weird obsession with the subs at this point, and they're, they're gonna ride that shit until the grave, basically. Pro sub probably lost 25% of his health during shotgunning, can't have that, yeah. Gotta save those protected classes. Wow, that is ridiculous. That is so, that is so stupid, though. Like, how can you look at this? Only for subs, and then go, yeah, Wargaming doesn't play favorites. American Battleship Rhode Island. HE shell parameters were changed. Maximum damage increased, 4750 to 5000. Fire chance increased, oh god. And restoration of hit points. With 31% fire chance. Rhode Island was, uh, Rhode Island, that was the 356, was the 356 guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was the guy with, what, 16 356mm guns. No, 12 356mm guns. So they're making this thing into an HE spammer. Okay. Reload is already 25. Then you run potentially some of the new skills and stuff, and then you're lobbing 31% fire chance HG. I mean, I would have loved for the AP to be stronger than this shit. Also, 60%. Yeah, that's not normal, US 66. They, they've been doing all over the. Like, at, at one point, they promised they were going to standardize the numbers, and man, that shit did not last long. They were supposed to standardize radar durations, that's why they nerfed some radars. Like, uh, uh, light cruiser radars were nerfed to 9km, I think Wooster used to be 10, now it's 9 and so forth. Like, they, their argument was they want to standardize all the values. And that shit did not last long. It did not last long. And then they had to add the Gdansk with 9km radar. Subs, DDs were supposed to have 7.5. They just pulled it out of their ass and... They're continuing to do this shit where they just pull random numbers out of their ass. Yeah, it's hard to sell gimmicks if it's standardized, so. Due to an issue where patrol fighters lost track of their target because of limited visibility radars, radius, the patrol fighters of the ships below have been adjusted to spot and keep track of enemy planes at longer distance. This change will not affect their limited spotting of ships. Okay. Okay, so this is just... This is not for planes, this is just plane spotting. So this is this is basically air visibility. How how much air plane planes they spot, not how much surface shit they spot. Okay, interesting. The main battery range changes stored for the three, as well as Rhode Island Independent York and Essex will go live during update twelve point ten. The rest of the changes will go live with the release of update twelve point eleven. Okay. Main battery and torpedo changes. So wait, you're only going to get half of these things to test? Wait, so Michelangelo change won't go be live until 12.11. Huh? What, what patch are we on right now? 12.10. Okay, so these things will be implemented right now, and the, the rest is just going to be next patch. Fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. 
So far, it looks like the free ships that they're giving us, they've gone out of their way to fuck them. Uh, the dockyard ship Michelangelo, they've gone out, they, they've dirfed it even further. And of course, the special protection against subs, because God forbid submarines suffer from secondary use. Can't, can't allow that. Like the one class that can literally dive and go immune against secondaries whenever they want. That class is being given special protection against uh, secondaries. It's uh, the mental gymnastics behind behind wargaming's protection of subs is is fascinating to watch. 